Well, this That's is a Lucy. this is Lucy. She's a yellowfoot tortoise. She's from Central and South America, Brazil. Uh, it's underneath the bearded dragon. And you know what? When they run off, you can still hang with them with the camera. <laughs> so Lucy's on her X-ray table because we're seeing if Lucy has eggs. So the owner knows, Stephen knows, who's the owner, who's going to talk to you a little bit about Lucy's care. So he knows what to expect. So we took the x-ray, and here's her x-ray. And this is her shell. Plastron. Her plastron. And that's her spine. That's her head. And those are her feet. And these circular objects are three eggs she's got inside. So Stephen, how long have you had her? I've had her for about a month and a half. A month and a half? And yeah. she's how old? She's, mm, I estimate her to be about 25. 25 years old? Yeah. And she came with um, another female, a much larger female, and her boyfriend, which they are constant lovers. So it's <laughs> a good sign that I got, got some eggs. And she will be the first yellowfoots um, I have here at, at here in Gilroy. So hopefully. Point out those eggs for us again. So here's one. Actually, I'm just pointing with the mouse. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Great. And she'll and lay about a good. This she's a good sized female. She'll lay about 10 to 15 eggs. So she's got more to develop. She got more to develop. Yeah. And how long uh, before she starts laying them? Well, these guys seem they're they're just about done. So I'm expecting them hopefully now with the X-rays within about a week. I'll see her start digging a nest site and start laying. And, but then once the eggs are laid, it'll take about 200 to 300 days for them to hatch. So about seven, eight, seven months, we figure, seven, eight months to hatch. Once she laid them all, and how long a time will she lay them all? She'll lay them all at once. Well, these, these three she'll lay all at once. And then how long will she lay, take to lay the rest of the 15? Um, it'll take about a month, a few weeks, about two to three weeks to a month. Just so she can build stuff, that calcium back up in her. So she can lay it. Do you more. have to give supplements? Yeah, I give her lots and lots of supplements. You give her lots of supplements. Yeah. So, can but you she's outside though, so she gets the natural sunlight and the grass and all the good stuff. So, what her. supplements do you give her? Um, it's just called reptile calcium, uh -huh. and that stuff what works. I just sprinkle it on the food every about mm, twice to three times a week. And, and then, what's her normal diet? Uh, this species they prefer to eat a lot of fruit, so strawberries, melons, mangoes. Um, they'll eat lettuce, um, a lot of grass. She actually will show you a lot of grass. Hi, Lucy. You're like, whoa, what's all this? And then you sprinkle the calcium on the fruit? Yeah, and on the veggies. And they're actually quite armors. They'll eat earthworms. Uh, they love earthworms. They'll Do eat... they dig them up? Yeah, they dig them up. That or I'll go, what, what I'll do is I'll kick over a rock and they see me. Why don't they let they her go on the floor? Uh, they'll even eat pre killed dead mice. But it makes a mess though. I would not. Does she eat bugs? You said bugs and earthworms. There she goes. <laughs> hey, Jed. Hey, Jed. She's going right to you. So, what temperature do you have to keep her at, Stephen? Uh, she's maintained at about 60 to about 95. Uh -huh. Anything over that, these guys do not like. Um, these guys do not like it really, really hot, so they get um, they get a sprinkler system come on about every five to ten minutes in the middle of the summer. Okay, so is temperature really important for reptiles? Yes. The warmer it is, the better they are. When they're cold, they can't digest food. They can't digest. Um, they can't develop the eggs. So what about people that get reptiles? What is the most important thing for them to know about their care? Um, it really depends on the species. Like these guys, they prefer to be humid, so they need to be at least about 60% humidity. Come on, let's go that way. I know, I know. Go that way. <laughs> so they want it very humid. Very humid. Because they come from Central you said, and South America. So they come from the jungle. Yeah. These guys are jungle dwellers. And so they eat a lot of plants and some bugs and earthworms. Yep. And they, they like it where in the jungle was pretty hot. I'm crawling right along with she her. She needs that bit from the park. She's she does. that tall. Yeah. And that's not even her feet. They can move fast. They can move pretty. And Stephen also brought in a pancake Hi tortoise. Hi guys. It's from the Kenya in the Savannah. Africa. And 
And she's it's got, got a, a soft shell, and you can even feel right, right. You can actually express down, and you can feel feel her breathing. Is this a male or female? Female. It's the female. female. How do you tell if it's a male or female? Cute little tail. Little tail, little girl. Big, yeah. little, big, little. But with pancakes, though, it's different. Pancakes, they, they have, they all have just a little bit bigger tail. Pancakes are the harder ones to sex, but, but usually males will have longer tails and females will have smaller tails. Great. And what about her care? What does she eat? She, these guys like to hide. Oh. So if I was to put her on the floor, she would um, pull, immediately hide and she'll, this is fine. And they're up, up like that. That is perfectly normal because in Africa, they live in the rocky outcrops and the crevices and they, I've, uh, I've seen people who, uh, they'll go right underneath the bookshelf or in between the refrigerator and just sit just like that, yeah. And so they'll sit up like that and then what's her diet like? Uh, this is main, all grass. Grass. Oh, that's a dog waking up in the veterinary hospital. Um, so, mulberry leaves, hibiscus leaves, a lot of fiber. Fiber in all reptiles is good. Does she also get a calcium supplement? Yeah, she gets calcium supplement because she too also might be pregnant because she's been with the little boys. And I've actually had, um, I've been able to, these guys are very hard to breed. They, they only lay one egg every season. Rarely do you get two, um, and if you miss, if you don't catch the egg right away, and it crushes, you gotta wait till next season. And what's oh the season wow! Like? So only what's one egg. Duration? Are we gonna X-ray her to see if she has an egg in her? Yeah, let's have a look. What, what's the? It's from April to March. Okay, and if you miss it, how long you get away? Wait until next season. What's the next season? How many? Well, next year. Why don't we X-ray her to see if she has an egg? Once a year. So yeah. you don't wanna get that. She's so we'll get the x-ray machine ready. This is a digital x-ray machine we're using and we're we're gonna check this is Lucy, wasn't her name no, Lucy? That was Lucy. This and is the, IHOP because she's a pancake tortoise. Oh, pancake. IHOP because she's a panca pancake tortoise. Yes. So Robin's getting all ready. We're gonna show you how we always use our protective gear when we're x-raying because we don't want Robin to be uh, radiated. radiated because she does take a lot of x-rays. She's awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and put this uh, tortoise on the table. And we're going to see if, uh, we're going to check and see if it has eggs, just like Lucy. With these guys, these guys are the, being they have less shell, they are the fastest tortoises. And if I, and you can tell how she she wants to go. Yeah, she, so she's guys, a runner. She, they are runners, they either run so or So she hide. doesn't eat any bugs? No, no bugs for her. Oh. Well, no. So, do you want me to reset it, or do you care? No, we don't care. We were, what that means is we're not going to put her new name, we're just going to put her under Lucy's, Lucy's name. name. So we're just going to put her right on the table there, right in the light, turn the light on, and we're going to... You want to move the, the foot thing for you? Yeah, I got that. And then we're going to kind of keep her in one Run. spot, and then we'll try to keep her calm, and then when we're ready to go... We'll see what we'll that see does. That she does. might, might, she moved she a little bit. Moved. So we'll see it it's too blurry. Well, oh, no, she does. No, that's that no, looks like her. that's one right there. Look. Oh, yeah, there I There's see it. One is. Right yep, there. yep, there it is. Holy uh, uh, you cut the season. Yes. <laughs> so there's the egg. Let's, uh, let's look at that. It's, yeah, it's very hard to see. It's hard to see. Yeah. It's forming now. It's right in there. That's an so oval egg. Here yeah, it is, they, right have, here. they have the biggest egg compared to their bodies. A ratio to any other of the tortoise species. Yeah, that's hard to tell, but yeah. That's great. So she has an egg in her too? Yep, and this is, she'll only lay one. And how long will, will she lay that? Any, probably in a couple weeks or so? A couple or? weeks, yeah. And with this species, this will take about 500 days to incubate. 500 these days? These guys, 200. Yeah, these ones so are this longer. Is, this will take over a year, buried. D buried, yes. But with the incubator that I have set up, it'll take, it'll be much faster. Fast, it won't be as long as 500, but it'll still be pretty long. It'll be probably about four to 300. Wow. This looks like a chicken egg. And do you have to keep them at a certain temperature, the eggs? Do you have to keep them at a certain temperature, yeah. the eggs? What do you keep them at? What temperature do you keep the eggs at? Um, I keep these ones about, I keep all my eggs at 80 degrees, because I recently just bred my Russian tortoises and I've been able to successfully hatch them at 80 degrees. So I'm gonna stay at 80 for a little bit, and then when I 
brave up, then I'll go live in more higher temperature. Great. I'm gonna take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Stephen with his bearded dragon. What's his name, Stephen? Viejo, which means old man in Spanish, because he has a beard, because we call because they're bearded dragons. And he's about 13 to 14 years old. He is a rescue. My sister painted his toenails. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he is a rescue, so um, we really don't know how old he is, but he is, he's definitely an older bearded dragon. Um, he's just going to live out his days at my house in a nice big 50 gallon terrarium with plenty of places for him to climb and the best food he can get. And what is the best food for a bearded dragon? They're omnivores, so they'll eat crickets, mealworms, superworms, waxworms. They love they love all their fruits and veggies. They just eat. They're just great. They're also their nickname is the Labrador of the reptile world because they're so placid and they they actually don't do anything. The more you handle them, the better they off. Yeah, I, I really like the way they look at you and interact with you. They've yeah. been my favorite over the years when I've seen them. So what what is his diet? Did we talk? We didn't talk about that. What, we, do, what, what do you feed him? I feed him lettuce, um, a lot of a lot of dark leafy greens, lettuce, kale, mustard greens, um, mulberry leaves, uh, hibiscus leaves, and flowers. He actually loves those. He had those this morning. Um, crickets, mealworms, superworms. Occasionally, the bigger ones that you can feed them uh, pinkies, which are little baby mice. Um, but usually most people do that when they're going to do breeding because they get all the, the gut content and the calcium from the bones and all the good stuff for those eggs. Yeah. Um, but he's just an older man and he's not going to do any breeding so he's just going to live out his days um, in my house. He's a spoiled brat. He, uh, he actually likes to come, he'll scratch the glass when he wants to go, uh, to go watch TV or go on the computer and he'll sit on my lap, on my shoulder. He actually climbed up on my mom's Top of her head and just sat there and watched her uh, do all her stuff on the computer. Wasn't that great? Yeah, it scared her to death, but it was funny. So a supplement? What do you give him for supplement? The same thing as the tortoises is the cal is the calcium, the reptile reptile cow. Um, I give I but instead of sprinkling on his lettuce or the vegetables, I feed it sprinkling on the mealworms or yeah. the crickets. Yeah. That's the best way to give it to him. Um, and with crickets and stuff. Make sure you watch them. Make sure they eat all their crickets. If they, because uh, sometimes they've been known to eat some nibbling on their toes and make them bleed, and and that's sometimes how you can kill your bearded dragon or any of any of your reptiles. So the prey, the prey, the prey will start eating the predator. Yeah, exactly. If they don't, if you give them way too much and they're full, and you still have a few crickets left, they'll start nibbling on their toes and. It's just a slow and painful way to die. Yeah, I've seen a lot of sick bearded dragons. I rarely get to see them this nice and this big. Um, because usually people get them and they don't take care of them. Yeah. So I see the sick ones and stunted ones and the ones that are just not he's long actually, from not long from dying. And actually, he's missing just a tiny bit of his tail, but he actually his tail should be about that big. Uh, but and you, there's that tortoise running around on the floor. Yep. With the three eggs. Yeah, Lucy. My, my pregnant mama. Lucy. Lucy. So. What temperature do you keep him at? He's at about 100 degrees on the hot end, so he has a big basket on about 100 degrees, and the cold side it's about 65. So they they they. they he has a thermal thermal gradient um, scale that he. And can, that's real important for them, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So they can they can regulate their own temperature by going where they want, right? Yep. And the day uh, on the cooler nights, he's underneath his basket, light, soaking up that sun, and then when he, in the middle of the summer, he's based, he's in his water bowl. Yeah, people just don't realize how important it is to keep them in their environment they came from. Yep. The hot, they kind of come from Australia, so they like it hot and dry. All right. does, occasionally he'll get a few soakings just so that he can drink because they don't drink too much water. But for the most part, he gets all his nutrients and all his liquids from the lettuce he eats or the vegetables and his crickets. The crickets Great. and all the bugs that he gets. Great. Well, thanks for bringing him in. Thank you. Okay, take care. You too. Well, I thought that might be an interesting video. You can actually see the eggs inside the turtles and hear about how long it takes them to incubate. Like, shoot, seven months up to almost a year. Anyway, it's real important to feed reptiles. A lot of people have them and they don't, uh, well, it's a lot of 
it's important to feed them, but it's important to feed them the right thing depending on where they came from and keep them at the right temperature and the right humidity. So really study up if you're going to get a reptile. Don't Just don't get one and let it slowly die like happens to many of them. And check out Dog Dish Diet if you want to cook for your dogs. I have a book uh, called Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet. And it's slow cooking for dogs and cats plus some tips for feeding cats. Raw food and canned food that's best for them. Anyway, have a great day.